<laughs> Eagle Eye Football here, Palace 2, Wolves 1, massive three points here with um, Nicky. Voice gone as always. Thoughts on the game, mate? That first goal, forget about it. Forget about it. I don't know what, who was at fault for that one, but we'll move on. The second half, we're a second half team. Ebera Eze, I love you. Wilfred Zaha, I love you. Oh my God, what a There is nothing like Celeste under the lights. Great performance. Dropped off at the last few, last few 10 minutes. But I'm happy with that three points. And, oh, what a performance. What a performance, Rich. Let's, let's dissect that first goal. We have yeah, to, we goal. have to. Yeah. Because um, obviously, Chet Nakori's hit the post. Mm -hmm. Diego Costas then had a very, very good opportunity mm. as well. Very good save from VG. And then we dominated. And, yeah. we've, and we've fallen behind against the run of play. Yeah. Now, from where you were sitting, who do you think was at fault? And why did um, Kim De Bueno have so much space? Honestly, um, so I see Elise on the right-hand side. No Joel Ward. Joel Ward's come into the box almost like a centre-back. I feel like Joel should have been there. Joel might have had the better run there. He knows the defence. Elise's defensive work rate isn't all that. I'm not going to level the blame at Joel. So I'll be like, it's just a defensive issue. Um, Adama scores and not even jumping. It's, it, like my brother said, it's Charity Professional Football Club back. And I don't want, and, and that was it. That was all it was. And then we come back and we dominate yet again throughout the first half. And then we'll spend the most, most of the game on the floor. So, mm. to be fair, as obviously with the balance of play, the run of play, we completely deserve this. Um, second half, we said we needed to come out quick. About a minute or two? A minute, minute or two? Yeah. I, did not, I was not expecting us to come out. Vieira must have done something special in that dressing room. He must have absolutely gone into him, demanded a performance. And I'm not going to lie, maybe it was you bringing me on next to you. Am I a <laughs> Maybe. This is what we do. This is what we do. They don't, <laughs> they don't call me um, the saint of Sahos for nothing. <laughs> I am a saint. Eze with a lovely header. From, Beautiful. Lovely cross from Elise. Yeah, wonderful header. Almost, almost identical to their goal. Yeah. And what I love about that is that it was an immediate reply and they, Wolves, did not know what to do. They lost control of the game. We dominate the second half. We took control and then going on to the second goal, Beautiful counter-attack, beautiful pass to Zaha, and come on, of course he's going to put it away. Of course he is. It's Wilfred Zaha, man. It had a bit of um, Eze sort of feel it to did. it, you know, against Leeds, where it's just a bit of composure, just composed himself mm. and slide it home. Yeah. Then, uh, those last 10 minutes. <laughs> the most nerve-wracking time I've ever had. Oh, my God, because Wolves had chance after chance after chance, but VG... I'm never ever doubting you, okay? You hear it now from me. I'm never doubting VG. Never in doubt with him. Beautiful saves. Defense could have helped him out, but <laughs> do you know what? VG's our number one. And he proved it. Moving on to Everton over the weekend. Listen, we've got seven points in our three games that we need we need to yeah. pick up points in. Yeah. It's looking good. It's looking good, but we've got no decore. So Don't kill the mood. Gyro, no, no, we got Gyro back. No, we got Gyro. I've got that Dutchman. The flying Dutchman is gonna dominate in that game if he starts. I hope he does start because he deserved it. Lastly, man of the match. Man of them. Oh wow, good question. I'm gonna give it to Eze. Eze again. Two goals in three games. Come on, there ain't no one better. We said he needed output. He's putting output there. So listen, yes. Nicky, up the palace. Up the palace.